Sven, thank you. Puerto Rico, which suffered a glancing yet damaging blow from Irma, is now bracing for a direct hit from Maria. And Melissa Colorado is joining us now with more on how Puerto Ricans, including some Minnesota residents, are bracing for this latest storm. Well, Kim and Tim, you got to go back 85 years to 1928. That was when Puerto Rico was hit by a hurricane of this strength. And government officials, they warn that Hurricane Maria could be catastrophic for the U.S. territory, still dealing with the aftermath of Irma. Now, the Puerto Rican government has declared a state of emergency, preparing hundreds of shelters to take in more than 100,000 evacuees. Puerto Rico sheltered many of the evacuees who fled Hurricane Irma's wrath in other Caribbean islands. Now those evacuees and native Puerto Ricans, they are all bracing for Maria to further complicate issues. More than 60,000 Puerto Ricans are still in the dark. That's all thanks to Irma. I spoke to Dr. Miguel Fiol. He was born and raised in Puerto Rico, and now he's a neurologist living in Edina. His family was vacationing in Puerto Rico, but instead of heading back to the Twin Cities, the doctor decided to stay, ride out the storm, and help with the recovery efforts. Puerto Rico has big problems economically uh, and politically, and now to have to face two hurricanes is just uh, enough to get people very, very frustrated and depressed about the whole situation. And of course, we're wishing Dr. Fiol and his family all the best. The stores are so packed with people trying to get a hold of water, food, and basic supplies that the government has imposed a rationing of items like water and baby formula so that everyone has access to these very needed items. Tim? Hoping for the best. Melissa, thank you. Minneapolis police.